This is the Algebra 1 practice test for T and ready. Question number 13. Consider the expression x squared minus 4 times x plus 3. Select all x values for x for which x squared minus 4 times x plus 3 equals 0. So why would we care if it equals 0? Well, if we're on a coordinate plane, x equals 0 would be right here on, uh, sorry, y equals 0 would be on the x-axis. So we're looking for points where it crosses, essentially. And just visually speaking, I went ahead, just to have for a visual example, I should say, I went ahead and put it into my calculator, and I'm going to graph it. So here are my solutions. I mean, that's really a simple way to do it. And then how do you find your answers? Well, if you go to, um, well, I'm, I guess I should have mentioned you could go to the table. So let's go to the table and just look. So we're looking for any time where y equals 0. So there's 1 at 2. So I could circle that answer. If you remember the graph, there were a few before. So I'm going to flip around there. Negative 2 and negative 3. So if we combine these two terms together and went and distributed them, na, 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 it would give us an x cubed term, which is cubic. So we're looking for solutions for cubics would be where the y equals 0 or the x-axis, that sort of thing. Um, now, Another way that you could find the specific numbers if you wanted is hit second calc, and you could find zero values, and it'll just say, okay, find a point that's left of the first, left of one of them. So I could go there, and then I need to find a point that's right of it. So I could go there, and then I want to guess. So I could go there, and then I'd start to build them up that way. That's completely fine. That's a longer way to do it, I think, in this case. Sometimes I like to find the specific zeros or intercepts. And sometimes I just want to see what the zeros are in the table. That was easier for me. Now, what else could I have done here? I'm not, oops, my computer throws an error every time I close that down. Um, so what else could I do? Well, I could look at these individually and just set them equal to zero and solve. So for this one, it's easy. I just need to eliminate addition with subtraction, and x is equal to negative 3. So there's my answer, p. For x squared minus 4, it becomes a little bit more complicated, but not really. Fortunately for me, to eliminate minus 4, I do addition. So this gives me a positive number, which makes this really simple. So I just take the square root of this and the square root of this. And you just have to remember that the square root of x, or x squared is x, and the square root of 4 is plus 2 and negative 2. So you want to have this, this, and this. So a couple options there. That one is actually very easy to do algebraically if you want to solve. If you have a bad memory about the whole, oh, it's positive and negative when I'm taking the square root, you might want to graph it as well if you have access to a graphing calculator. It'll make your life much easier. You can test it immediately. And just remember, when you have a, uh, an, equa an expression that's equal to zero and they want you to find the values for that situation, what they're really looking for is the... Uh, where it intersects the x-axis here, or where y is equal to 0. Because if I were to graph this entire function, it would be y is equal to x squared minus 4 times the quantity x plus 3. So I'm really graphing that, trying to look for right when they cross. So choose your own adventure.